this video is about a different way of measuring angles. So here we're going to measure angles in radians instead of degrees. Radians, the radian measure, simplifies a lot of calculations in maths. And we're going to see the simplified arc length and sector area formulas later in this video. So firstly, what is a radian? So a radian, so if I had one radian here, one radian, and I've got a little C, which is the notation we use for one radian, that is where the radius is equal to the arc made. So where the arc is equal to the radius, that is called, the angle is called one radian. And in a whole circle, there are two pi radians. So the whole way around the circle is two pi radians. So we can convert between degrees and radians if we need to. And if I wanted to convert degrees to radians, so if I wanted to go from degrees to radians, I divide by 360. And then multiply by 2 pi. So divide by what it's out of at the moment, multiply by what I want it to be out of. And it's the other way around from radians to degrees. I would divide by 2 pi first and times by 360. So divide by what it's out of at the moment times by what I want it to be out of. So degrees to radians, divide by 360, times 2 pi. Radians to degrees, divide by 2 pi, times 360. So here are some ones to convert. Maybe you could have a go at filling out this table. Uh, so we need to convert from degrees to radians and from radians to degrees. Now we're going to look at finding the area of a sector using radians. So let's look at the formula for the area of a sector and we'll look at how it simplifies down with the radian measure. So the area of a sector is part of the area of a whole circle. So we look at what angle have we got, what fraction have we got of the whole circle. So if we call out angle theta and the fraction of the whole circle is theta out of 2 pi because there's 2 pi radians in a whole circle. So it's this fraction of the area of the whole circle which is pi r squared. Now if you imagine this pi r squared is over 1 we've got a pi here and a pi here which are actually going to cancel out. So what's left? Beta over 2 multiplied by r squared. So to find the area of a sector using radians, we can use this sector area, this simplified formula. So theta over 2 times r squared. So in this example here, theta is 2 and r is 5. So the sector area here is 2 over 2 times 5 squared. So 1 times 5 squared, and that would be 25 centimetres squared. Okay, now we're going to look at finding the length of an arc using radians. So a length of an arc is part of the circumference of a circle. So we look at what fraction have we got. So we've got theta out of 2 pi. That's the fraction of the circle we've got and we multiply it by the whole circumference so that fraction of the whole circumference which is 2 pi r. So we can see here the 2 will cancel and the pi will cancel which just leaves arc length as theta times r. So in this example, theta is 2, r is 5, so the arc length 
is 10 centimeters. Okay, so let's look at this question. Pause the video, give it a go. Can you find the sector area and the arc length? Okay, so let's look at the sector area first. So theta is going to be 3 and r is going to be 5. So sector area is 3 over 2 multiplied by 6 squared. So that's 3 over 2 multiplied by 36. So that's well, one and a half 36s. So 36 plus 18, so 54 centimeters squared. Arc length is theta times r, which is 3 times 6, which is 18 centimeters.